going to create this short video to show you how you can go about adding figures and tables to your results and discussion section. I would suggest that you, all of you have some visuals in the form of a table or a figure within your results and discussion. I would embed it within this section instead of having it as, as an appendix. Some writers will include it in the appendix, but uh, I suggest that you use some kind of visuals that really are uh, an essential part of your results and discussion so that they're embedded within your discussion, within your text. So the way you can go about doing this is go to the results and discussion, and I'll show you how to do both the, t the table and the figures. So here what I did is I actually inserted a table, and I'll show you basically this is what it it's going to end up looking like, but let's delete this and uh, insert a table. And what I would do is I would insert the table immediately below the paragraph that where you mention it for the first time. So let's assume I mentioned table one for the first time within this paragraph. Just below it, I'm going to go to insert table, and there's different ways that you can go about doing this, but I'm going to select a pre-made already, uh, a table that's already been uh, configured. And it comes with a title already, but I'm going to basically right click and insert my own title. Now, in this case, what I want to do is I'm going to select table. You'll notice that it's selected figure and it says figure two because I already have a figure one, which we'll look at here in a minute. Uh, when you do insert captions, when you have more than one, depending on if it's a figure or table, it will keep track of how many you've already had and it will give you the next, the next number there. So in this case, I'm going to select table. This will be a table one and I'll add a title. And let's capitalize the main words. So we do want to keep this. They is uh, a title case and hit OK. Now what I would do is I would, according to APA, the, the title or the table one rather title is going to appear on a separate line and then the title itself will appear just below. So what I would do is I would remove the italics. I would change the font style to the font style that you have been using. So I would be consistent in terms of the font style and also the font size. We'll change it to black and we will put table one in bold. Okay, so basically that's what it will look like. Now, if you need notes just below your table, you can write it like this and just double checking myself to make sure yes it will be note in italics and then whatever note whatever clarification you might need here just below the table you can do that now in this case there there is some flexibility according to APA in terms of the font style and the font size uh, the style needs to be any of the acceptable fonts that were that are ex that you can use. But again, I would be consistent. So I would be whatever text that you're using in uh, in your the body of your paper. I would use the same font style. I will leave it up to you the size you want to leave the note if you need a note. A note's only optional. It you don't need it. But if a if further uh, information is necessary, you certainly can include that. And I think you can go anywhere from size eight. If you want to make it smaller, I, yeah, I wouldn't go any smaller than size eight up to 14. And I certainly wouldn't go larger than the fonts, the size that you're using in the title. That's it. Here's your table. And the next thing then is to go to the list of tables, the top of your paper. Let me remove this because I already created it. And we're going to go to, to references, insert table of figures. We're going to make sure that we're 
using a table here because this is the same process whether we're adding a list of figures or tables and you can really just leave it the way it is and there it is so anytime you are changing or modifying your text and let's say your table ends up on a different page then it will update accordingly so if i were to add let's just maybe i add it here another paragraph a couple paragraphs and let's say that my table ends up on a different page page five in this case i'll go back to tables right click update fields okay and now it updates the page okay so this is basically the same ideas as a table of contents list of tables and list of figures now if you want to do the same for a figure it's basically it's the same idea you're going to right click insert caption make sure that you have it set as figure and in this case let me actually delete this I delete the title so that it let's say we're starting from scratch right click caption when a figure and give it a title and in this case we want to select above by default it might be selected as a below selected item I would select it to appear above and then okay and then basically do the same thing we did before so we're going to remove the italics we're going to put in bold figure one title on a separate page change the font color and the font style and go to figures in or go to references insert table and figures we want figure and I think everything else looks fine and then there you go so that's it basically uh, just make sure that you're making the changes here to the title here to correspond with the font styles that you've been using throughout your paper and one thing else that I will conclude with here is just a quick tip for the table of contents as you are getting close to finalizing your paper in fact once you have completely finished with your paper and there are no more changes you want to update the table of contents and what I would do is go and if you notice here, you're going to have the title of your paper in two places. You're going to have it here at the beginning of your paper on page one, and you're going to have it at the title or on the title page here. But when you generate the table of contents, it's going to generate the title, whatever title you've included on that first page, it will include it here. So what I would recommend after you've updated the table of contents is go in and manually remove the title that you, that appears in the table of contents and write instead literature review again this won't change the title that you have here but i think it looks i think it looks better here to have literature review method results in discussion because essentially that is what you're what you're doing it's understood that you have a literature review here at the beginning your theoretical framework is your literature review and uh, it's understood so it's not necessary to have a literature review title um, you would have the title of your paper and then the introduction paragraph and then you would have your section your first subsection heading your level two heading so one more thing before we conclude here um, I recommend to everyone also in your Word document on the left hand side use the navigational pane and if it doesn't appear for you make sure that uh, if you go to view you should have an option to select navigational pane same way with the ruler by the way and what you want to do here is remove any of these blank spaces that appear what these are are, are basically titles that are kind of hard to find if you're within the page like unless you put the cursor over the, the the heading it doesn't really appear so 
the easy way to really delete those is just to backspace. And you'll notice that they're gone here. So you can you can remove those I'm doing here. And that way they don't appear here in the na navigational pane. So that's this is how it should look with no ex with no spaces and each of your headings they should appear here the appendix you'll have uh, headings as we've talked about so you'll have a level two heading here uh, that will appear so if i had a title title of appendix a it's going to appear here right before this was not this was blank and it did not, didn't have anything. So uh, make sure that you are using the right font styles. Level one APA, level two APA, level three APA. No one will be using uh, more than three levels. So these are the, the styles that you want to use for each of your, your headings. Okay, I'll stop there. If anyone has any other questions related to how to handle your tables and your figures, uh, let me know.